This is a solid biofuel factory, and it should be the only one you need. When you're just starting out, you probably handcrafted most of the biomass you burn because you had to save your building materials and power capacity for factories that produce parts. But by the time you unlock solid biofuel, you really should start looking into automating your biomass processing because at this point, your power grid has probably gotten a lot larger and is burning through biomass much quicker. So handcrafting all your fuel becomes noticeably more annoying, but also solid biofuel is awfully easy. This tiny 3x5 two-stage production line right here is able to produce either 60 or 120 solid biofuel per minute, depending on whether or not you have Mark II belts. To put this into perspective, 120 solid biofuel is able to feed 30 biomass burners running continuously at full power, which is 30 megawatts each or 900 megawatts combined. It's very unlikely that you will even need half of that before you gain access to coal power anyways, unless for some reason you're building at huge scales before you can fully automate power. Here's how to build it, and afterwards we'll talk about a few more things. So, I'm currently using a flying mod so that you guys can see better, but if you would like to get some elevation over the build area when you're building this yourself, what you can do is actually place down some lookout towers on the edge, and then if you snap them, you'll actually be able to walk between them without falling off. So to get started, place down three storage containers, and then have them feed three constructors. Connect the belts. On the output side of the constructors, place down a merger in the center, and then merge the two constructors towards the outside of the build area, because these two are going to be feeding another constructor, and then that one is going to be feeding another. And then on this side, we're gonna use this space for two more constructor, but facing the other way, and then we'll place down some storage containers with the input facing the inside, and connect the belts like so. And then this can go straight into that. And with this, you can loop it around the outside if you want, but then it won't fit into a 3x3 area, which is the, the yellow that I've marked out here. So if you want to conserve some space and make your build area nice and clean, you can use some conveyor lifts. Now we set the recipes. So these two constructors are going to turn leaves into biomass and they will feed one of these constructors making solid biofuel. And then this one will turn wood into biomass and that alone will feed another constructor making solid biofuel. So let's set this to biomass leaves and then biomass leaves again, and then biomass wood, solid biofuel and solid biofuel. And then now you just connect the power. So I sometimes like to put uh, power poles on buildings like this because it helps you get some elevation so that uh, not only do you prevent the cables from clipping through structures, but it also makes it very easy to see what's connected to what and then connect it to the power. And now all the lights are yellow and they'll turn green once we load the containers with the materials the machines need. So to use this, you dump the wood and leaves you collect into these input containers from your player inventory. Biofuel cannot be fully automated because there's no leaf node that you can put a miner on, so you'll have to load these from your inventory. Although wood and leaves are going to pile up in your inventory anyways as you play the game, so between just deleting them or crafting them into biomass and then solid biofuel by hand, this is easily a great option. Each time you dump your plants, be sure to split the leaves roughly even between the two leaf containers in order to keep efficiency high. It's weird having to use two separate containers for the same material, yes, but this is done so the factory can work faster despite the limitations of the low-level conveyor belts. I'm also using these items on top of the sockets as labels to distinguish the containers from each other so I don't load leaves into wood or the other way around. 
At the time of making this video, there are currently three ways to label containers in Satisfactory. Besides this, you've got signs, which require Fixit coupons and quartz, and you've got the output belt, which can only be used to label the output containers, so this is good for now. To get this, all you have to do is get some of the item and hold right click on the stack in your inventory to get a stack of one and drop the item. You can just drop them on the floor to label the containers, but I find myself picking them up by accident once in a while, so I like to walk right up against the container to do it so the item ends up on top of the socket. When using only Mark 1 conveyor belts, this factory will produce 60 solid biofuel per minute, feeding 30 per minute into each of the output containers, as long as all three input containers remains loaded. Once you acquire Mark 2 belts, you can invest some reinforced iron plates to upgrade these belts. These are the only belts in the factory that can actually benefit from a throughput that's higher than 60 items per minute, so you don't need to waste RIPs on the rest. Once the upgrade is complete, the factory will double its output, going to 120 solid biofuel per minute, assuming that your chainsaw can keep up and provide the wood and leaves it needs. If you've watched this far into the video, please like the video if you did like it and maybe leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've learned anything useful or just what you think of the video. You can also subscribe or check out these videos if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, have a great day.